ちょっとごめんなそこをどいてくれ What is going on my broskies, my name is Toadski, back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video, and today we're going to be going ahead and doing a full showcase video for my man 6 plus Kuzan V2. Now, I do think that this is probably one of the best super evolutions that we've ever received. Now, it's not perfect, there's definitely some issues that I have with the unit as a whole, but I think this unit is a great upgrade comparatively to the unit that we had previously. This unit is amazing in a lot of different ways. I want to talk about this unit in this video today. Uh, just about what you're seeing on screen, this is just against a couple of different arenas. We have Arena Mihawk, Crocodile, and Basil Hawkins with Kuzan as the captain clearing the content. And he does it pretty effectively too. He's a really, really good unit. So let's go ahead and start talking about this unit. Talk about what are the good, the bad, the ugly, the amazing, the beautiful. Let's go ahead and get into it. So let's start off with his captain ability. Now remember, this is the uh, Limit Break Expanded Captain Effect, and also shout out to Daniel Gaming on my friends list, who actually had a Limit Break Expanded one up as well. Shout out to you for that one. But we actually have this guy who is a 4x captain to Quick and Psy, and then also grants a pretty good health boost, 1.35, and also will give Psy and Quick Sorts matching to those two types as well. And then also, if you attack in the order of Psy and then a Quick character, then you get a 5 times attack boost instead. He also increases the chances of matching slots appearing, and it, it seems pretty decent like it's actually a pretty decent increase and this is with like no orb sockets on my team as well which would have definitely enhanced that as well but this is such a good unit as a captain now a lot of people are going to complain oh yeah you know but you have to hit with with a side unit and then a quick unit to get the five times attack that's not that bad i mean considering this unit is like what from like 2017 2018 ish like, this unit is pretty freaking good, considering the time. Um, I, I, I really do love what, they, what they've done with this character. Now, I personally would have loved if they had, like, a utility effect in this unit. Would have made the character more modern. And definitely would have been a, a higher chance of being used in content if he had a utility effect. If you're up against a piece of content where there's a lot of int or a lot of strength characters. And they're just like, hey, yo, you know, we're just going to go ahead and put, uh, you know, one specific debuff. And this Kuzan can counter it. Then this character is going to see a little bit more play. But outside of that, you know, you really have to try and shoehorn him into a team, but you can do some really good stuff with this character considering his special ability is a lot better, where his special now will do 100 times his attack and typeless damage. It is only to one enemy though, but it does go through all defensive effects and base defense. It's a pretty neat effect. He also reduces percent damage reduction and damage threshold by two turns. If you guys would have saw in the Mihawk clip, we really wanted to abuse that, and he's perfect for that content, being able to just use that special, get rid of some of those two defensive effects. He also will now change all slots into matching through block slots. Previously, it was a complete shuffle between Quick and Psy, and you just got to make them beneficial in some way if you're using characters that don't have them as beneficial or if you're using him as a sub it's a real big problem but now when you launch his special he makes those slots beneficial or he just gives you a full board of slots straight off the bat which is good because you can use him in a lot of different ways now you could probably just use him in a utility sense with i just want to get matching slots and also remove these two defensive effects and now you can do that but he also provides an attack boost to quick inside characters and it is only a 2.25 times boost which is not that significant i really would have loved if that was bumped up to 2.5 times, it does feel a little weaker at times, especially when you're up against enemies that have, you know, 50, 60 million HP. 2.25 is okay, but uh, it really does rely on the rest of your buffs being a little bit better than the usual, right? So that's probably one of the big, the big downsides to this unit, is that they didn't really change the multiplier of his special, which is a bit of a missed opportunity there. However, there is a really unique effect in his special that is also listed, and it says that if you have consumed 20 or more quick or size slots before you launch the special, when you do launch it, it'll give himself minus 12 cooldown. So that's pretty interesting, right? Because it means when you launch his special, when his Limit Break expanded, he has a 12 turn cooldown. So this essentially means that when you launch the special and you've consumed those slots, you can immediately launch his special again, which is pretty cool. And if you guys would have seen the Mihawk clip, um, we actually use that to our advantage. We're able to use one special stage four and use it immediately again on the next stage. So we can have some utility plus damage plus matching slots. It's pretty ridiculous. And the thing is though, is that is a really cool effect, but again, this this is a, another downside to the unit in 20 slots for that effect 
is a little harsh. Uh, I think it should have been cut down to maybe between 10 and 15. Actually, you know what? Considering it's 12 turns of special cooldown, they should have given you, you know, 12 slots is, is what you need to consume. Or a really interesting effect would have been, like, it reduces his own cooldown depending on how many slots you've consumed. So if you use his special and you've consumed 6 slots, he gives himself minus 6 cooldown. That would have been way more unique and definitely more used in content. But considering 20 slots, that's a lot to take in. And it means that in some short form content like Arenas and Clashes, you're probably not going to get it. In the clip that you guys would have seen earlier in Mihawk, we actually kind of just stalled a little bit in earlier on in the fight just to ensure that we got that effect active a little bit later on but realistically if you're trying to farm content you, you're not really going to be using this effect on this character but of course all characters moving forward are going to have the huge drawback of not being able to get access to a super class special or a super type special or you know anything like that or you know becoming a versus unit so yeah this character is going to have that problem and every super evolution moving forward that wasn't previously a super type or a super class unit is going to have that problem because just having access to that is so wicked and why i think that this character is definitely going to be used more in a hybrid sense or, or even just used as a sub comparatively to being used as a captain while he is a very very good captain i don't think he's going to be used as much as a captain just because there's no real amazing utility as a captain and also because you're using him as the captain slot you don't have access to those super super type super class specials which really do help you out in especially more difficult content and that's why i do think characters that have those abilities or have a super switch or have uh, you know a versus effect characters like that are definitely going to be more viable as captains well you know depending on the situation of course but you know either way i am really impressed with what they've done with this kuzan they've made a character which was basically never seeing any play at all and making a character worthwhile using in content now i did mention you know he doesn't have access to some certain abilities that some more modern characters have but he's still a super solid option you can see he's clearing modern content pretty easily right especially if you have the right captains as your friend and as i said i do think hybrid scenarios are going to be way more beneficial with kuzan unless if the content provides kuzan the abilities to just absolutely steamroll it but at this current point in time i'm really impressed with this character i love he's a good captain and i also love that his special ability has been changed for the better added some very unique abilities alongside that so without further ado that's going to wrap up this one here let me know your thoughts and opinions on six plus kuzan down below in the comment section hopefully you guys enjoyed it and if you guys did make sure you go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video